Hi, today's video is about the contact form element and its main features. Almost all modern websites have a contact form, allowing visitors to leave feedback, submit requests, subscribe to newsletters, etc. For website owners, contact forms help collect visitor data, including names, email addresses, messages, etc., and get the leads vital for internet sales. You can add the contact form element from the Add panel. You can choose from three different contact form layouts – vertical, horizontal, and multiple step. Or start with the contact form presets or designs. Click the first block preset with a contact form element to add a contact form. In the property panel, you can switch between three layout types – vertical, horizontal, and multi-step. Then switch back to the vertical contact form. You can select, move, add sub-elements and delete the contact form with a sidebar. You can also resize the contact form. Click the plus icon to add contact form sub-elements or fields. The contact form field list includes all the popular sub-elements used in modern contact forms, such as input, text area, checkbox, drop-down list, etc. Some sub-elements have special purposes like name, email, country, phone, file upload, and recapture. You can also add decorative sub-elements like lines and images. Some contact form features like form steps, calculation, and conditions require more time and you will learn about them in the next videos. You can add a new sub-element by clicking the plus icon between the contact form fields. Add the phone field. You can easily reorder sub-elements in a contact form by picking and dragging the fields. You can also drag elements like the button to align and align them with the alignment options in the property panel. Select the address text area. To remove it, click the bucket icon or press the Dell key. Please comment if you like our video lessons and what we can improve. You can stylize the inputs in the context toolbar or property panel. Select any input and change its fill and border. You can also modify these properties in the property panel. Select the form and open the inputs group. Change the radius. You can enable the labels. Labels can be above and to the left of the field. Put labels to the left. Make the labels bold. Make the button red and bold and change its radius to match the inputs on the button group. Additionally, you can add more spacing and stylize border, radius and shadow. In settings, add in the messages that visitors see after submitting the form. We recommend configuring the reCAPTCHA settings to minimize spam on your site. The reCAPTCHA verifies that the message is submitted by a human. To set the reCAPTCHA, you need to go to your Google account and copy the keys. In Settings, you can find more information by clicking the link under the key fields. In the Submit To options, you specify how you receive submissions from the contact form on your site. The simplest and fastest way is to use the email option that will work out of the box. Publish. Let's see how it works in practice. Here's the form on the site. Your visitors fills out the form and clicks Submit. Contact forms generate leads. After that, you get an email with a notification. The email has a link to the leads. The link to the leads page is in the Settings panel, Property panel and Profile. We have finished the overview video about the contact form element. Subscribe to our channel, like our videos, and comment on what you would like to discuss in our next videos. Thank you for watching.